As Canada grapples with COVID-19 vaccine shortages and delays, many are still on the fence about taking the shots even when they become readily available to the public. In this week's Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, one of our viewers wanted to know if the vaccine is safe for those with multiple allergies, asthma and COPD, or if they should wait a while before taking it so that more research on side effects can be done. I don't agree with that. People who should not get the vaccine are people who have a specific severe allergy to any of the ingredients in the vaccine. And so for both the Moderna and the Pfizer, it means uh, PEG, polyethylene glycol, which is actually in a lot of things, we actually don't realize it. So if you have a severe PEG allergy, you would have known that because by taking uh, an easy swallow tablet or a liquid gel cap or, or having a colonoscopy or, or ever taking a laxative, you probably actually already took polyethylene glycol and didn't have a reaction to it. And then for the Moderna, there's an ingredient called tromethamine, which is allergy to dyes, for example, like IV contrast dyes. So those are the real reasons people who really should not get vaccinated or should speak to their allergist about it. But if you have just in general food allergies or other drug see. allergies, you can be vaccinated. Now, if you have an allergy to an IV medication or a medication that was given at a hospital, well, then we might say stay for 30 minutes longer, just to make sure, because most of those severe allergic reactions occur within the first 15 to 30 minutes. Right, absolutely. And doctor, just so everybody knows, where can we find the exact ingredients of both these vaccines? If you go to our website, toronto.ca slash COVID, we have a tab there for vaccines. And we actually have information on both of the vaccines available. There's a screening tool that lists what the ingredients are. And so you could certainly go there and find that. Vaccines continue to remain top of mind for our viewers and listeners. And the doctor answered many more questions about them this week. For the full chat, you can go to our websites, citynews.ca and 680news.com or to go directly to the page, point your phone camera to the code on the screen and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.